Oh, yeah, absolutely fine. Right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the third act of the second half? Yeah. Please welcome to the stage with her box of mysteries, Catherine Walker! Welcome collection. You've heard a lot about that place already tonight. <laughs> I'm not going to give you a presentation or anything like that. I've just got my, my box of wonders to show you. Um, but I'm going to need a volunteer. So hands up if you like Welcome Collection. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very excited volunteer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did have plants in the audience, so that I did have <laughs> 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 Collection. We've got three galleries. I've got an object from each one. They're not from the actual collection. They're from our handling collection. So we have these in the galleries. We get them out for visitors um, of all kinds. To ask, we'll get our. This is going really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Medicine Now Gallery, that's the gallery Steve Cross was talking about earlier. On the opposite side of the wall of uh, postcards, we have um, a section on the genome. So I thought I'd bring along my DNA, so I'll just get this out. <laughs> bases in the DNA, in your DNA and they're all paired together so you've got three billion base pairs. Um, I tried to Google how far that would reach to the moon and back because we use these on our tours and every time I Googled it I got a different answer on each page so I'm not actually going to quote that statistic to you. Um, but what I will say is that DNA is, uh, well everything's got DNA and we're all connected by our genomes. Apparently we share 50% of our DNA with bananas, so um, it's very important. That's quite good for you. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that's from our Medicine Now gallery. Thank you very much. Beautiful assistant. And um, we've got a special exhibition on at the moment called Brains, so I thought I'd bring a brain along with me. It's not pickled in a jar, although you can see these in the exhibition. Um, I'll get my brain out for you. <laughs> There you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so this is from our Medicine Now gallery, but um, we can get it out for the special exhibition. The special exhibition doesn't look at the brain um, as we know today, how we understand it to work. It looks at what we've done to the brain um, throughout history to understand it better. So um, that includes pickling it, um, freezing it, dissolving it, um, this one is my point of reference so that I can tell you a bit about the brain. Um, that's the cerebellum. It's there. Mm. Again, I'm an ancient historian, so mm. I don't know too much about biology. <laughs> Come along to the exhibition, just not mm. at 3 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. You will have to queue out the door to do that. Um, so let's put that back. Now the piece of resistance <laughs> is uh, my shrunken head. Mm. Again, not a <laughs> Gallery. So this is the gallery that contains all those great pictures of Henry Wellcome with his moustache, dressed as a monk <laughs> and a sailor, and all those other things that Henry liked to dress up as. And it also contains lots of objects um, from... <laughs> <laughs> so would you like to know how to make a shrunken head? Yes! Yeah. Okay, so there's only one place in the world that you can get shrunken heads, and that's on the Ecuadorian-Peruvian border. On the internet! <laughs> Uh, um, you need to uh, take the skin off in one piece off of the skull 
um, and that takes about 15 minutes to do. And you just tuck the skull away, we don't need that, we just want the skin. Uh, you fill it full of herbs and spices and you boil it for about 30 minutes. Um, precise instructions here. <laughs> you don't want to boil it for too long because all the hair falls out and the hair, as you can see, is a vital part of these. <laughs> it's a, a highly ritualised um, procedure and it takes place over kind of a period of days. After you've boiled it, you then uh, fill it full of boiling hot sand and then um, uh, boiling hot stones and this slowly shrinks the skin down. It's a bit like tanning leather really, it's the same sort of thing. And then because the skull gives it its shapes, you need to remould the eyes and the nose and the mouth in. And, and that's how this goat can look a bit like a human because <laughs> the skull's gone. Um, from there you have it, you hang some string on it and stick it in the Medicine Man Gallery. <laughs> <laughs> handling objects, we've got them for our two permanent galleries at the moment, but hopefully we'll be getting them for our temporary exhibitions pretty soon. And um, come along and have a look at them. Just ask any of us BSAs, you'll know us, we've got the big brains on our t-shirts. Um, we'll get out our objects for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Walker.